Stacey Jackson, and thank you for joining me today on Stacey Jackson in the 80s. I'm so pumped about this episode today because without today's theme, I actually wouldn't be standing here talking to you right now. It's the launch of Music TV, which catapulted the music video and pretty much changed the whole industry. Music wasn't just heard, it was interpreted. Some videos were so creative that people would just talk about the brilliance of the actual video, even if they didn't even like the song. In August of 81, MTV aired its very first ever broadcast in North America. It opened with footage of the Apollo 11 rocket launch and transitioned to an astronaut planting an MTV flag on the moon. Then an announcement came on with, ladies and gentlemen, rock and roll. So I'm gonna open today's show with the first ever video that released on MTV, the deliberately ironic hit, Video Killed the Radio Star by The Buggles. But because the little music cable network was so new at the time, the only people that got to see it were the handful of folks who subscribed to the cable carrier. But as we know, even with all the bumps and hurdles the network managed to overcome, MTV became the pioneer in showcasing some of the most innovative music videos of all time. I'm gonna follow up the Buggles with another British band closely associated with the inception of MTV, Dire Straits. Their mega smash record, Money For Nothing, which features Sting singing, I want my MTV in the background, was also the groundbreaking video which aired on MTV Europe when the network launched over here six years later in 1987. 